Okay, what we have here, we have a laptop computer running a sound generation program. You can set the frequency, I think I'm right now set to 400 hertz, yep. 400 hertz. The output of that is going over here to a 1000 watt amplifier. On top of that, we have a capacitance tuning box to set capacitance value. I think I've got 16 microfarads in series with a coil. Let's zoom in a little bit on the coil. The coil consists basically of an old TV degaussing coil, round a little smaller. And then on top of that, we're putting a three and a half inch hard drive platter, which is essentially an aluminum washer. Let's go back out wide. So you can see the meters on the amplifier. Okay, I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to click on the frequency generator and watch what happens with the aluminum washer. Now, of course, that coil will quickly burn up because we're putting about a thousand watts of power into that coil. Yeah, it's not too terribly hot. I don't know, if you get the right frequency, I might be able to get more lift. That was shorter or higher? It's right around 16 microfarads. It gives it the most lift. Coils get nice and warm. The aluminum washer is just kind of floating there in midair. So, that's demonstrating the fact that aluminum repels a magnetic field to the point where it will actually lift off of an electromagnet. Now, let's go for a little bit more power in the next experiment. Okay, we've got the same setup as before. Computer running a frequency generator program. 1000 watt amplifier, switch box, but now we've got a little bigger coil than we had in the last one. Now, this is going to be a bit of a shock, so hang on there. I'm going to kick on the amplifier and watch what happens. Try that again. Oh, we blew it. Something blue. Well, we did it a couple times and uh, we blew something. But it's kind of cute. Okay, in the last run we blew the uh, 8 amp fuse out of the back of the amplifier. So we're going to try it. I changed the capacitance box down to 8 microfarad so it shouldn't resonate quite as well and hence the peak current shouldn't blow the amplifiers quickly. So let's try it again. Alright, we've got issues here. Let's try 12. 14. We had sparks. I don't know if you heard it, but we had sparks flying in the amp. That's probably why I blew the fuse, or in the switch box. But anyways, that's demonstrating uh, washer launchers using AC power source as in a 1000 watt amplifier.